You concede to the, I concede to that request and I nominate tomorrow, Thursday the 2nd, as the day when that question shall be put. We will now go back to the statements that had been deferred and the first to be received will be the statement from the Senator for Mansabit County, Senator Mohamed Chuta. Is your point of order? Madam Speaker, I rise on standing order uh, number 65. Uh, 65. Madam Speaker, this is uh, on motions that can be moved without notice. Now, Madam Speaker, E, it invites us to move a motion for suspension of a senator. Madam Speaker, I'm not drawing your attention so that I move a motion to suspend any one of our colleagues. But I am drawing your attention to the fact that we have come to the time we should move this kind of motion. We were not elected as senators to come in Nairobi and uh, cut walk. We were elected to come to this house so as to discharge business. And the two motions that the chair of this committee has requested that we defer the division, are critical motions that are speaking to and giving the National Treasury an opportunity to give our counties money. Madam Speaker, in view of this, how would the entire opposition, end to end, including the leader of the majority, leader of the, uh, the, leader of the minority, his deputy, the, 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 the whip, uh, the deputy whip, how can all of them, plus their members, be out of the House, apart from the distinguished senator of Kisumu, Professor Tom Ujiana? And the distinguished senator, Crystal Asige, how can they be the only ones here who know the, and, uh, and the senator for Busia, Omtata, Madam Speaker, how can be the, they be the only ones who are remembering that we were elected to come here so as to represent counties and protect their interests? And there is no greater expression of protecting that interest than giving them money to remain functional. We should consider moving a motion of suspension against the entire minority so that the voters of Kirif, so that the voters of Vihiga, the voters of Nairobi should know that they have elected people who cheat them during rallies, that they are fighting for them when they are actually cut walking here in Nairobi. They should come to the house and transact business. If they don't, let us suspend them so that they don't draw any allowance, they don't draw any earnings for the time that they're not in this house. And those who are here, and we are able, as a majority, whip, I'm able to whip enough numbers to pass business. But we suspend these people as a statement. Madam Speaker, that though. What is your point of order, Senator Sige? Um, thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm rising on a point of order because I'm unaware if um, distinguished Senator of Kakamega, Dr. Bonnie Halwale, is certain of the reasons why there are some members on the minority side that may not be sitting in their chairs this afternoon. Um, unless he has uh, actual facts as to where they are and that they are catwalking in this Nairobi, then I suppose, Madam Speaker, um, you'll be the one to guide us. It might not be uh, correct, or rather, I, in my view, it might not be proper for him to um, allege that um, there are people who are absconding 
or purposefully not being here, unless, of course, he has evidence. On the contrary, Mr. Spe uh, Madam Speaker, I thank you. What is the point of order, Senator Gloria? Let, let's have Senator, Senator Gloria first. No, no. Let's have Senator Gloria first. Madam Speaker, I believe that Senator Halwale is actually in order to bring this uh, matter to the House. Because, Madam Speaker, yesterday we actually were unable to vote on this very particular matter. Some of us who are nominated who would like to vote don't have those votes. But we see our fellow elected senators actually literally coming to Nairobi to have meetings in Java and around the, the, the parliament. Madam Speaker, I want to say particularly that it is very disappointing that even when we are moving motions or, or matters that are affecting their constituencies, their electorate, the people who actually brought them to the house, they have no interest. Yesterday, Madam Speaker, we had Senator Ledama Olekina totally refuse to come into chambers. He was actually outside there and he refused to come and vote. We were missing just one person to make the quorum to vote. So, Madam Speaker, it is, I think it is in order that we actually have to do something about this. Because for some of us, we don't have these votes. And they have refused as elected leaders to delegate those votes to the nominated senators. So, Madam Speaker, kindly... This is an issue that must be given attention. And if we cannot uh, find anything in the studying orders to actually hold these senators accountable, then we better go out there and tell the electorate that indeed they are receiving salaries for just coming to have meetings with their friends and their peers around parliament, but they are actually not uh, attending chambers. It is a serious concern, and for some of us who are specially elected to represent women and other constituencies, we demand that it is time, Madam Speaker, that we are given voting rights so that we can move the business of the House. What is your, thank you. What is your point of order, uh, uh, Senator? Uh, Madam Speaker, is it in order for Senator Gloria to actually mislead the House that elected senators, while we are seated here as elected senators, Madam Speaker, that we are having meetings in Java. When did this chamber, when was this chamber converted into a Java, Madam Speaker? Number two, Madam Speaker, Honorable Senator Gloria has a motion before this House that she has absented herself from moving that motion more than two, three times, Madam Speaker. Is it in order for her to mislead the House, Madam Speaker? Would you like to be informed? No, no, I have to uh, just hold. Senator Gloria, hold it. Do you want to be informed, Senator Madago? To be informed, I'm Thank well informed, you. Madam Speaker. The information shall not move. Let's have Senator Mudigi to intervene. What is your point of order, Senator? Mr. Speaker, Katika Kenya tuko Manjibo Arubaini na Sapa. Na mambo ya Anjabu, kuna mambo ya Viyama, kuna mambo ya Mbiasara, kuna mambo ya Mutu Mbinafs. Tunaangalia katika Kenya manji hakuna, hakuna chakula, Na pia hata samaki ama vitu nyingi simeangaika. Watoto wetu wana pesa ya kwenda sure. Pia hata kila kitu yote mialipika imesoroteka. Tunastuka sana tuwa karibu wiki mbili ama wiki moja walio wachache. Na sio mambo ya vyama ni mambo ya kuongezea account era. Ndi watoto wetu weze kwenda sure ndio tupate manji. Ndiyo hata hospitali setu siwe na ndawa. Wakati tuko na serikali ya Kenya kwanza ambayo inafanya kazi kuliko serikali zile zingine alafu watu wengine wanatoroka. Kwa hivyo mimi ningeuliza kama kuna uwezo wale wako hapa kama kuna uwezekana tuseme hiyo kitu imeenda dhuru kwa sababu hapa hakuna hapa hakuna mambo ya mtu binafsi hakuna mambo ya vyama ni mambo ya county tulilie county yetu kwa hii kipindi ya miaka mitano. Kwa hiyo mimi naunga hiyo mjanja na mkono tuweze kuona vile itakuwa. Ni mambo ya anjabu. Mambo ya kusema tunaenda kwa mawe, kwa nini. Nataka kuambia mambo ya mkatenusu ya kuna, hata toast ya kuna. Asante. Uh, Senator Chiraldike. Uh, Madam Speaker, 
The point of order that has been raised understanding order 65 by the majority whip, it is within his rights to, 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 to raise that. Uh, but Madam Speaker, we are aware under Article, Article uh, uh, the Constitution of Kenya, under Article 1, sub Article 2, the people of Kenya may exercise their sovereign power either directly or through their democratically elected representative. But as Speaker, I invite you to look under Article 93 on the establishment of Parliament. There is an established Parliament of Kenya which shall consist the National Assembly and the Senate, and the National Assembly shall perform their respective functions in accordance with the Constitution. Parliament manifests the diversity of the nation, will of the people, exercise their sovereignty. It also, it is derived from the people and by the people. Parliament shall protect this constitution and promote democratic governance of the republic. But as speaker, the reading of Article 94, 93, 96, 95, and even Article 1, is just we need to agree but standing on the number 65 that has been brought by Senator Boni Kalwale, that our colleagues from the minority side have been, a number of them, I don't say want to say all, because I can see Senator Professor Tom Ogienda, who was my conveyancing law lecturer at Mo University. And by the way, Madam Speaker, in the moot, moot competition, Mo University was the best. He beat the, the, he beat the, the University of Nairobi, because that is your Professor Tom Ogienda. Uh, Madam Speaker, it is on record. You can check the results. Look for me in camera, Madam Speaker. The point I'm trying to put across, Madam Speaker, what they are inviting you to do is very dangerous. Because the work of the Senate does not involve only plenary. It involves working from committees. It involves visitation of counties. It involves other things. I don't want Mr. Madam Speaker to cast as passions on our colleagues, because I believe in good faith, they could be a report writing of committees, or they could be consulting with their constituents, Madam, Madam Speaker. Because under the standing order and the constitution, serving our constituents is part of the job description that we are given. Madam Speaker, unless, and I want to challenge Senator Boni Halwale, who I believe in his leadership as majority whip, can prove before the House that the minority side are cut walking, or they are in Java, or they are somewhere doing something that is not within the purview of standing Article 96 of the Constitution and Article 93 and the creation of this. Madam Speaker, I agree there could be some reservations that the minority side have not, but they have not communicated to your house that they are boycotting the plenary session. So what is coming before you, Madam Speaker, in as much as I agree with Senator Boni Halwale on standing on the number 65 on moving submissions without notice. It is important also to be fair to our colleagues. Because, Madam Speaker, in conclusion, what we need to establish are really our colleagues cut working, number one. Are they somewhere taking tea and making banters and stories, number two? If, for example, there is a proof that they have traveled out of the county, out of the, the parliament, out of the country, and Madam Speaker, your office always has a notice of senators who are outside the country and outside the county on special visits. So if those issues, Senator Kalwale, can be proved, then I can support you in taking sanctions against the minority side for boycotting. Because I agree, while these two motions, and Madam Speaker, the only request that I can beg of you under this constitution, unless what Senator Boni Kalwale is telling us, Madam Speaker, is we suspend any other committee meeting, any other county visits, any other benchmarking visits outside the country, or any other report writing that is done by various committee, and suspend all of them. Say that when, Madam Speaker, you have issued a moratorium by saying every senator should be on the chamber. If they fail to turn up, Madam Speaker, then I can invite you to give a ruling. But I would wish and want to know how that ruling will look like, because it will have serious implications going into the future. Madam Speaker, with those very many remarks, uh, I thank you for allowing us to converse, but I hope we can converse with this. And Madam Speaker, in conclusion, 
I have seen Senator Gloria and other specially elected senators. My appeal, Madam Speaker, because we are in learning curve, you should just talk to your head of delegation. For example, Madam Speaker, if you are in delegation of Muranga, Senator Wamatinga can designate you as a vote. So if Senator Gloria is either in delegation of Nairobi or Sen in Yamira... Senator Wamatinga is from Nyeri County. Oh, sorry, Senator Nyutu. Sorry, Senator Nyutu. If Senator Nyutu, for example, Madam Speaker, you come together and you feel you are part of delegation of Muranga, then he can designate like you as part of delegation. No, no, I don't need to be informed because okay. I, I, am, I, I know what I'm saying. Then let me note you, Senator Gloria, Senator Essa Okunyuri, for example, who is a nominated senator. I am on point of order. The standing order is very clear. I am on point of order. For example, Senator, Senator Crystal Lasike might be coming. Let's assume she comes from Mombasa. Senator Faki, under the law, can designate her as a vote on behalf of the delegation of Mombasa. That is what the law says. So, Madam Speaker, unless we amend Article 125, and, and that is why many people don't know BBI collapsed. So if you want to amend, just amend the constitution so that specially elected senators can have the power to vote in any decisions that affect delegations. With those many remarks, Madam Speaker, I would really want to see your ruling on this matter. It will be very interesting for now and in future. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, what is your point of order? Take a minute, uh, Senator Gloria. And we will have one final submission on this issue from Senator Danson Mungatana. And I will beg the House to allow us to proceed on. I make a ruling and we proceed. Madam Speaker, I know that uh, we are new to the House and we are on a learning curve, but I want to correct uh, Senator Chirarge. Uh, we have actually reached out, and when I say we, I mean most of us nominated senators, including myself, we have reached out to our, delegated, uh, our delegation chairs. I have even written it in our platforms of the Senate uh, groups. And we have requested that in the event that they are very busy, perhaps dealing with matters on offices of the constituencies, which perhaps because as nominated senators we do not have, that they should delegate their vote. Madam Speaker, to that effect, none of the elected senators have actually written a letter to the office of the speaker to give that authority to their delegation uh, members to vote in their absence as a matter of fact only one elected senator only one elected senator gave the the letter and later retracted it within the same week so madam speaker you will see that uh, while we are sitting and trying to get quorum and trying to move the business of the house, it is very difficult for some of us. We have no powers, we have no authorities, and so, Senator Cherarge, you are out of order when you say that uh, we do not know the line of choice. We have actually followed the, 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 the process as it should be, but the frustration is that the elected senators have refused to delegate their voting rights. Now, we will have the final submission from Senator Danson Mungatan, and then I'll make a ruling. Uh, Madam Speaker, thank you. I'll just be brief. I think the concern raised through the point of order by my 